All right, what's going on, guys? We are up here on a Monday morning. We're delivering these units to this Barbersville dealership. The uh, salesmen have all come out to uh, see what they're getting. Luckily for them, it's all of them. So what we got going on is we got a 10-car load, guys. It's been uh, a couple weeks since we got one of these, but this is the first time. I forget the uh, name of the person who gave me the tip on these things, but this is the new... Sportage put number one up top and uh, put another Sportage on the back on number three. And this all came down to height nice and easy. Actually, my tallest vehicle is this one, and that's actually at 13.8. Um, I could have come down a little bit more, but I, I don't have anything low coming up here. And uh, I just want a little bit extra space over the trunk there. But as you can see, this is just your normal standard 10-car uh, load for the most part, other than these two SUVs. So we are going to get these things off real quick. Um, guys, I try to drive this in all the time. If you ever load 10, I'm going to point it out like I do every single time because it's very important. Make sure you pin your decks from going up, both of them. And on the other side, because as you can tell, like I always show it, these are actually doing nothing at this point. Um, so make sure that you pin those decks. Other than that, guys, we are going to drop these things off, get these things on the ground here, and uh, head on up to the road. I will tell you guys what we have going on next, but I'm going to set the camera up so you guys can watch, and I will see you guys in a couple minutes. Thanks. Bye. Good morning. It's early. It's uh, 3.46 in the morning. Been going for about 20 minutes now. Just got the truck fuel. Got myself some fuel. Um, we got a pretty long day today. We uh, It's going to be a driving day. We are heading from... Uh, oh, where are we going? Oh, that's probably loud. We're heading from Cleveland down to San Antonio, Texas. So, uh, we're hoping to make it over into Memphis tonight. Um, we got a two-day drive. It's going to be all day today, all day tomorrow. I don't think we can make it all the way down to San Antonio uh, tomorrow, but uh, we're going to get as many miles as we can. We're going to try to do this 600, 650 miles today. So, uh, doors closed. Next stop is going to be in uh seven and a half hours for our rest break but uh, until then let's get some miles on the road let's get going i'll see you guys in a couple minutes let's go everybody's coming here to meet some friends it's like another world we all understand Good morning, folks. We're on day two of uh, of this drive down to San Antonio. We're not going to make it there today. I'm just going to cancel out. It's still showing me coming to this hotel. Well, let's see. I think I still have like 800 and some miles today, so maybe 900. I got caught uh, on 
interstate uh, that 65 I think coming down into uh, Nashville out of Kentucky and uh, we sat in traffic there for like three and a half hours yesterday so yeah I still got 812 miles so hopefully I can get within about 120 150 miles of uh, getting there today so we are going to get on the road what time is it right now it is 4 30 in the morning slept in a little bit no need to really rush but uh let's get back on the road let's go make some miles and get this load off catch you guys in a couple guys what's going on we uh we made it down here to uh where are we waco texas right now um we got i'm I just in my gps we got a little bit longer to get down to uh san antonio tomorrow um not 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 too bad got a 176 miles so that's about three hours We'll get up early, try to get into San Antonio at like 6, 6.30 to uh, get those delivered. It's a rental car agency, so they probably get in around 5.30, 6-ish. But we'll give them a little bit of time just to make sure that uh, I don't show up to offload and then I can't even start until 8 o'clock in the morning. I don't have a phone number for the place in order to get a hold of them to find out even what time I can get in there. I really don't have much information on it, period. So that's what we're going to try to uh, try to do tomorrow. We're going to try to run in, get that delivered, hopefully get a load out of Houston. That is, well, they just called me a few minutes ago, some pretty, pretty crummy loads this week. Last week was an awesome load. It was eight stops, but they're trying to get some of the short stuff hauled. And that, that doesn't get me anywhere near where I got to go for uh, for this week um, to, to get back to West Point. I think they had a six-stopper into Mississippi for like uh, 14 uh, – sorry, I'm just logging out of my logs. Um, they, they had a – Seven stopper for $1,700 into Mississippi, um, and probably going all over Mississippi, being that it's seven stops. And then uh, had a uh, – no, that was a six stopper. Then had a seven stopper into Gulfport, uh, Louisiana area. So, again, that's a uh, another real – crummy load uh from, from what i from what i heard they got over a thousand cars on the ground but can't match anything up it's kind of kind of sad when it starts getting like that but this is this is texas trying to get out so a lot of times it is real hard i can't can't really i guess complain too much uh i guess i, I got uh, uh what do you want to call it um I guess I, I got spoiled last week with dropping that. Uh, it was an eight stopper, but it ran all the way out to Florida and paid three grand. So that was that was an amazing load. And I was kind of hoping for another one of those. So I guess that, that's probably why I'm a little burnt <laughs> about this load is I was really, really hoping to get another uh, $3,000 load out of here. That would have been awesome. But uh it doesn't look like that's gonna happen, and uh, yeah, I guess we'll, we'll we'll figure it out. Not really much I can do. Not not planning on deadheading all the way back to West Point, and and it's not like we did bad this week. Hell, we did thirty was it thirty three hundred 
to West Virginia, loaded this load for 7,800. So, yeah, I guess, I mean, I'm, we're already up over 10 on the week, getting real close to 11. So it's been a fantastic week. Grab another, heck, even if we did 1700 bucks, and what would that be? I think I'm at like 10, 8 plus 1700 that's 11 eight. yeah that's a $12,000 $500 run yeah 12 12,500 bucks give or, give or take a couple pennies here or there so i guess i'm just being petty and that's stupid part all right so yeah i understand that i'm probably like i said just just being petty there's no uh no real reason for it just greedy real greedy I'm I'm out here trying to uh, trying to provide a good life for my family, and uh, yeah, I get greedy sometimes. Don't don't we all? If if the uh, high paying work's there, I, I want to do it. I want to be on it. Uh, <laughs> I can't can't really say much other than that. Um, <clears throat> I will say it's it's pretty cool down here in Texas compared to what I expected. Um, it was. It was in the 70s this morning, uh, just outside of Memphis when I left, and all day coming down through here. Yeah, I mean, you guys saw all those storms, and it's a cold front, but it's only 66 degrees down here in Waco right now, so it uh, it just steadily cooled off all day. But, yeah, yeah otherwise, I mean, we, we've had a really good day. It's been... Uh, it, it's been a good one. We've we did a lot of miles today. What do we get on the day here? Six hundred and thirty-five miles. So hustle really didn't hit a single backup. Uh, I really expected going through Memphis this morning to to hit some traffic and cruise was set all the way through. Little Rock, same thing. Right where you get on that split from forty onto what is it, thirty-five? Going south towards uh, Texarkana, I expected a decent backup on that little like eight nine mile stretch right there. I think slowed down a couple times, probably ran through that mostly at 55 60 miles an hour, and then uh, Dallas. Heck, I didn't even have to uh, really even get off the get off the cruise. Just ro- rolled right through Dallas, no issues. It, it's been been a good day compared to uh, what you saw earlier in that vlog. Uh, earlier in this vlog, um, that traffic. I only showed you guys a couple seconds of it, but I ended up sitting in that for like the better part of three, four hours. So, and I don't even know why they they took what what it was was coming down 65 into Nashville. Just, just over the border into Kentucky, or just over the border from Kentucky into Tennessee, made it like 10, 15 miles right to the bottom of the, the, uh, the mountain right there as you come into Nashville. <clears throat> and what they ended up doing was in Nashville, where it goes 65 to the 40 split heading out towards uh, Memphis in Jackson, it uh, they they took three lanes or they they took three of the four lanes and just closed them down, and they had construction cones all out, but there wasn't a single soul in that whole stretch that they had it shut down for. But the problem is, is it's it's right there where all those interchanges come together, and <clears throat> you got the guys that sit out there in the left lane and try to run all the way to the very end and just stop in the left lane. For that, for the truck to let them get over one lane to go out 40, heading to uh, heading towards Memphis, and golly, we my five minute shutdown clock. Um, I don't know if you heard that at all, but the truck was just shutting down. Um, but we uh, we ended up sitting in that for freaking ever yesterday. I I was hoping to make it all the way to the west side of Memphis yesterday. But we uh, 
We ended up using all 11 hours. What did we go through? Exactly 11 hours of drive time and made, uh, uh, what is it? Made 583 miles. So I, I had roughly another 50 to 70 miles left if we could have been rolling without uh, without that traffic. So that, that shut me down. Actually, I, I parked in Jackson, Tennessee, yesterday. And then, yeah, just, just rolled down here. We're, we're in Waco right now. I'm going to uh, get up in the morning. We'll deliver these first thing. Try to... Uh, Try to get a better load out of Texas. Um, we decided to deny the two loads that they gave us. <clears throat> and and we, we put right on at that. Uh, well, my terminal manager put right on there that uh, just too many stops. We got to tighten the load up a little bit. We're, we're hoping it will. If not, I mean, at the end of the day, I'm going to take whatever the hell I can get to get out of here. Um, there, there's no there's no sense in making nothing. So if we have to, I mean, what would a six, seven stops going to cost me four or five hours of extra unloading time? So it, it is what it is. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll be busy. We'll, we'll make money either way. Um, but yeah, guys, also what I have coming out, I haven't been able to figure out how to get those training videos out to you guys. I can't do the membership thing because we don't have enough subscribers. I didn't realize I, I had the button along a little while ago, like six months to a year ago to activate a members section. But apparently now you, they want you to have 30,000 subscribers. So I don't have that. Obviously guys, please subscribe. Let's uh, let's build the channel up so I can get you guys a lot of these training videos. So I'm going to do a lot less of them because I also, I tried Patreon, uh, but the videos are like 45 minutes long and I think it came to 2.7, 2.9 gigabytes for these videos. Patreon only allows you to upload 199 megabyte video. So I can't do that. I don't know how to compress the files to get them smaller. Somebody that knows computers better. I guarantee you there's a way to do it. If any of you know how. Uh, please let me know because I, I don't know that that's above my pay grade. So we tried that. Um, I'm trying Skillshare, but that seems a lot more complicated than it uh, than just putting the videos up there in a class style thing for you guys. <clears throat> so I think really what I'm going to probably do is I'm just going to upload the videos on YouTube. So please, please, please watch them. If, if we can't get the viewership on them, I understand they are basic training videos explaining everything about car hauling, um, about how to load the direction we're putting them on while we're putting them on this way, throwing the straps, all that kind of stuff. <clears throat> I understand that. It, I guess it's not as entertaining as just what, what we're doing here. Um, but if I can't get the viewers, I can't post them on there because it'll just kill my uh, algorithm and that'll really slow the channel's growth down. So I'm going to try posting probably two of them. I'm going to put a, uh, what, what is it called? The, the little, uh, not title, but where, where I can categorize the videos. I'm going to have a training section. I think it's literally going to say like, training videos, how to haul cars or something like that. <clears throat> and that's where I'm going to put these things. I'm going to let you guys watch them because again, my whole point with this channel is to teach you guys how to haul cars and uh, give you guys the support that I never had when I started. So that is the end game to make your guys' life easier and get you to the point of being a good, real car hauler as quick as possible. So, we are going to, uh, I'm going to post them on there. Like I said, hopefully I get enough viewership that I can, I can keep posting them because they are kind of fun to make. They're a lot of work, but, uh, I get to get much more in depth in explaining, uh, how, how to haul these or how, how to, how to operate a car hauler. 
And, and if that's something you guys are interested in, obviously you probably are if you're watching my videos. But if, if you guys are if, – how do I say it? If, if it's something that you guys like enough, then I will continue doing them. And hopefully I can get enough of you guys trained and we, we, can, we can work it out that way. We, we, can, we can make it happen if, uh, if I get enough views on it. I'll keep posting them. Otherwise, I will I'll just have to make a few. And I, I, don't, I don't know how. I, I'll upload them and figure out how to, how to put them on without getting my algorithm killed on this channel. But either way, guys, I love you. Please like and subscribe to the channel. It really helps. Um, share this with anybody that you know that wants to become a car hauler. If you do want to be a car hauler and you're not already, or if you're an experienced car hauler, use my link below to join United Road if this is a place you want to come to. You see the loads that I'm hauling. They're available for everybody in this company. Um, I'm, I'm nothing special. I just work really hard. So <clears throat> if that's something you guys are interested in, like I said, please go ahead and use my link. My name, everything is down below. My name is Matt Weiland. Um, use me as your referral if you don't have one already. That would be great. I do get a very big bonus for everybody I bring over here, and it really does help. And then uh, the Get Upside app, obviously you guys know. It's how you get your money back on your fuel. Two or three That'd be number three. The Robinhood app. Invest for the long term. Invest for your future. Even if you just throw a hundred dollars in a month, and or let, let's say make it simple math, thirty dollars a month, you put into Robinhood. Set it. You can set it to automatically buy one dollar worth of stocks every day that the stock market's open. Thirty dollars into the spy. Or the, which is the S and P 500, and uh, and and let let it grow, invest for the long term, and then uh, lastly is going to be the credit card that I always use. It's the Capital One Quicksilver card. That is what we use as a family. I buy everything on it. Everything I do goes on the credit card. I pay it off every month. I carry a zero balance, but it's got good points, and that's what I use to go to Disney. Uh, and go on to these vacations that I take my family on. So, guys, I love you. Again, please like and subscribe to this channel. And uh, we'll get these things delivered tomorrow. And I will see you on the next vlog. I'm out. Bye.